Hi, and welcome back to... <laughs> okay. So today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite perfumes and a dupe to it. And this is an obvious dupe. It's a bootleg. It's a bootleg, folks. Um, and that my favorite perfume, one of my favorite perfumes is actually Good Girl, the original Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Um, the tagline is, it's so good. Hence the red lipstick, I had to. Um, I got this perfume as a Christmas gift in 2016 and ever since I saw it, oh, it screamed me. I mean, we all kind of familiar with this by now, but I sort of was like, oh my god, I have to have it. And the person who got it to me, they were with me and I was like, oh my god, I need this perfume in my life, if not just to have it on my dresser looking nice. I think that's that's one of the first things that came to mind when people saw this perfume is how beautiful it will look on their dressing table. And I got it and I wore it almost every day after that Christmas and then I realized hey it gone finished just now and it's not exactly the cheapest perfume um, I think I'm not sure if the price is still the same, but I think around the time that uh, it was purchased for me just four years ago, it was around eight hundred dollars. It may have gone up or down in price depending on the man of my dream in the scene. And mine is here and the bottle in terms of juice starts here and mine is here. So I put it away and I started to wear my other scents and I missed this scent and I would wear it on special occasions and when I had my third date with the guy I'm dating now I think it was my third date and that was the date when I realized I really like this dude I wore this perfume and this perfume is known as a you know a man eater scent of some sort basically when you wear this Hook, line, and sinker. You had him. Or he had me. We had each other. And in bringing the scent out again for that day, I was like, oh my god, I, I want to smell like this. I want to feel like this every day. But I don't have that $800 price tag to be shelling out every month. So, how can I get that feel and smell more regularly? So, I. One of the girls in work, she sells perfumes. So I asked her, hey, you have any, you have some stuff, you have some stuff. If she had a bootleg essentially for um, Carolina Herrera, right? And she did, she brought it for me. And, and I'm gonna pretend to pronounce this thing, but it's L-B-B-L for girl. right and it looks kind of like it the Carolina Herrera is smaller in size it's one entire component whereas it's not one component so essentially if you lost it you put in Castana all right your perfume will not be able to well I'm essentially holding it in my hand and I wore it almost every day for about a year and it's here now. So today I'm going to talk to you about the comparison between the two. Now there are other dupes out there. There's another one called Cool Girl in which the 
writing the font to the text is very similar to the good girl and I have not smelled the cool girl I've heard that it's very similar but in terms of this one that I got that's that's the only one I can speak on um, I got notes so if you like in you got notes So let's first start with packaging. Let's talk about the bottle. How the original bottle is all one component. It doesn't separate. This is the sprayer. And while this one, it have a little indentation to suggest that, but this is the sprayer. There's nothing here. This is perfume coming out from here. Um, Scent. Oh, in addition to the packaging, the box. Now I did not keep the box for the bootleg because I bought when I bought this. This basically sat on my dresser and this beautified my dresser. Well, the original went safely packed away in a box, never to be seen from or heard from unless you know I have a man to date. And considering we're quite comfortable in our relationship, I need to pull out the man to go for you every so often, just to spice things up. But I haven't really pulled it out in a bit and well except for recently I wore it the previous vlog I wore it that day to like just get a feel of how it smells but I wore the both of them on both sides of my body my body just to get a reminder of how it smells and longevity which I'll talk about later in the video um, so the box says good girl on it and the material if you may you may or may not see it has I have a cat so there's a little bit of fur on it well it's mostly linen, not really fur and that's because of the suede whereas the box that came with lblb lbbl bootleg um the design is very similar i don't have it with me but the design is very similar but no suede so there's that um scent similarity the scent on this is on the bootleg is very very similar very very similar you get the similar notes however the good girl punches you in the face from the first instance like you spray good girl and you know you spray good girl like boom i'm here whereas this was much softer and maintained that softness throughout the day so it didn't protrude throughout the air as much as the original did and as the day progressed the original kind of settled itself uh, it's kind of like someone kicked open the door arrive and then they said calm me on your couch feed me that's this <laughs> I, I think that's the best way to describe it i've arrived sat calmly on your couch i am here i need a glass of wine feed me where is this one knock knock Hi, I'm here. Do you have any juice? <laughs> that, that's, that's this one. So, the scents are similar, but the punch is different. Longevity. Um, You're not going to like me for this one. But they lasted about the same. In terms of wear throughout the day. The scent wears about the same five hours. Where so while this one started with a punch and then it simmered and just remained at a particular level, this was consistent. So how it smelled when you, you spray it initially, it remained, you know, at that very nice, polite level of silage. 
throughout the day so let's say about five six hours and that's just on skin um on clothes we can get much longer than that for both of them but on clothes the original could last for days for days whereas the bootleg she will die out after a 12 hours but on skin on me it lasts five to six hours um in terms of its claim of being a man eater fragrance now i may or may not have mentioned before that the guy i'm dating uh, my boyfriend he has a bad nose so when i say a bad nose meaning like nothing's wrong with his nose per se it's just he does metal looking so constantly being in heat and iron and stuff like that he's not he doesn't smell things his nose isn't as sensitive as the other people in the house so when i spray perfume i literally have to like shove it in his nose in order for him to smell it and this when it initially sprayed punched through all his nose issues and he was able to smell it whereas this one was a little calmer and he loved he loved both of them on me but i think it has more to do with the fact that it was me um he actually preferred this one because it was not as in the initial sense the initial spray because it was not as in your face but throughout the day he couldn't tell the difference i well actually i could i could tell the difference it, it, this one is a little sweeter this one has a little more floral in it whereas this has a bit more um patchouli and probably more plum in it a little more fruity and potent scent whereas this one is a little sweeter um but so they're very similar um price 800 100 800 100 TT dollars okay to Tobago dollars so the choice is yours and I've actually seen the, the cool girl one selling for like $75 on Facebook. So that, that, that's a choice. Um, would I rebuy the bootleg? I'm not sure. Me personally, simply because I am on a journey to elevate my status as a person. I really don't want bootleg anything just say so I don't think I would repurchase a bootleg I'm not saying never I just might not do it I want if this I took an, uh, an, an approach with like with food that if I'm taking any calories the calories must be good so if it is I'm spending my money it better be worth it so that's my approach on things and if it is i'm spending whether it be eight hundred dollars or a hundred dollars you must not be faking to be something else and when i picked this up i was in a different state of mind as a person so while i just wanted and smells good that's the thing don't get me wrong it's a really nice perfume but it's trying to be homegirl here which this has gotten sprayed more recently than this one Turn up. okay there we go so I'm not saying never but in the place I am at right now mentally 
I don't think I would replace this when it's done. It's here. And when it is no longer here, I think that might be it for me when it comes to this. We may well, actually no. This has a good way to go. We may save this for dates. So that is it. Hope you all enjoyed this quick little video. At least I think it's gonna be quick. And uh, comment below what other perfumes that you may want me to I don't know compare the original to the bootleg or what bootleg perfumes you have and have tried and which do you prefer the bootleg or the original and is it worth it buying a fake knockoff of something I mean if finances don't permit the or original and you're getting a good dupe girl do it do it but if you can afford it and when i say afford it as in you can buy it three times if you can buy it three times comfortably and not have to ram it for a week then you can afford it so if this you can afford it buy the original and just be done with it all right so that's it for my comparison video of carolina herrera's good girl the original and the book bag. Hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, share, tell people about it, share it. Because we don't have much perfume content look in I don't know. I, I find that surprising. As a people who like to smell good, how come nobody talking about it? So let's talk about it.